we announced something sure to rock the fashion world this morning. That's right. We have confirmed reports that CEO of Vavino Creations, Valentino Vivano, was shot yesterday during the evening of his birthday function at his nightclub. The death is being treated as suspicious, and insiders have informed me that crucial CCTV footage from yesterday evening has gone missing from the nightclub. I also hear that Valentino had been assaulted by Riker Langley, husband of Alexi Black, mere moments before he was found dead. Authorities are asking anyone with any information at all regarding the murder of Valentino Vivano to contact them as matter of urgency. Alexi, we are going to be late. Sorry, funerals freak me out. Just go on without me. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay. Hello, Sister Lucy. Or should I call you Alexi? Father Crawley? What the hell is she playing at? What are you doing? I need to act like a bereaved widow, Dante. Why? Everyone knew you were planning to divorce. That is yesterday's news. We were still married, and the likelihood is he didn't have the chance to update his will. What are you saying? I'm saying you are looking at the new CEO of Viviano Creations. Now, let me get back to my grieving. Should we get out of here? You read my mind. Father Crowley, what the hell are you doing here? I was concerned when you went missing, Sister Lucy. Sorry, my apologies. Alexi. How did you find me? Your face is all over the media. It was unavoidable. You instructed me and the other nuns to abstain from media during my time at the church. It's my mistake to assume that you practice what you preach. And what are the sins you have committed, sister? You told the press you had been kidnapped, survived on rainwater. When in reality, you were posing as a nun in my church. Does the commandment, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, mean nothing to you? You lied and insinuated your way into my church. 
I had no choice. And for you to abandon us so abruptly after all we did for you. After all you did for me. Are you fucking kidding me? You insisted I wear god-awful robes. You forbade me from wearing much chicer dupes from Viviano Creations. My statement to the press about surviving on Raymond was not far from the truth. I love a crash diet, but your church was something else. Now, how much is it going to take for you to go back to your church and forget you ever met me? Do you honestly think that I can turn my back on God to make a deal with you? He's in heaven, Father. He doesn't know which way your back's facing. How does $200,000 sound? I'm sorry, Sister Lucy. I will not, I cannot betray God. I have to tell my people the truth about you. Nowhere in the Bible does it say, thou shalt burst into thy neighbor's home and throw them under the bus. I had to escape, and your church was the only place that I could live in seclusion where no one was going to come looking for me. Certain circumstances meant that I had the opportunity to return to the life that I once spent years building. So please, Father, don't take it away from me. I'm sorry, Sister Lucy. My name is not Sister Lucy. It's Alexi Black. Why was Winter acting completely deranged at the funeral? She thinks she'll inherit Viviano creations, seeing as she's still married to Valentino. Oh, so her breakdown was for the sake of the press. Well, who knows what Valentino was thinking, or when he last updated his will. Thank you for telling me the truth about why you came here. About you being Valentino's son. Did you manage to speak to him about it before he died? I just wanted to get to know you. Well, I don't want to get to know you. Get the hell out of my set. You're fired. N no, I didn't. Hello, all. Oh, Winter, you look remarkably composed for someone who almost broke her ribs from crying. Thank God you had half of them removed. For your information, I happen to have transcended to a new level of peace. I bet you have. My husband is in a better place now. For all of us. Hey, you two are looking awfully cozy together. Oh. Now I understand why Dante held out on giving me the dirt about you. Winter. What the hell are you talking about? Miss Black, I shall have the result back in a few hours. I thought a DNA test might take longer than that. Yeah, usually. But your sister paid a pretty penny to ensure we watched this result straight to her. I bet she did. Hello? Sis, where are you? I'm at the doctor's office taking the paternity test you demanded. What is going on? I'm in trouble.
What the hell are you talking about? What do you mean Dante was holding out on giving you dirt about me? Winter, don't... Funny story. I tasked Dante with finding enough dirt about someone at the fashion house to cause another wave of scandals which would no doubt have led to the pulling of investors. It's no coincidence he cozied up to you mere moments later. Uh, excuse me? Honor. Anyway, I better go. I'm due a touch-up of my Botox, so my face is a little too vulnerable for this tense situation. Honor, I can explain. What did you find out? We went back to yours, and we... When you fell asleep, I looked through your files. I found... Your birth certificate. No! You didn't! And you were gonna give Winter that information? To leak to the press to humiliate me? And take down the fashion house? It, it was never about humiliating you, Honor. Winter knew the truth about my paternity, and she was threatening to tell Valentino if I didn't find her something to leak to the press. <laughs> How dare you say this isn't about me? Leaking information has everything to do about me. Honor, I'm so sorry. How, how dare you use me like this? Honor. Oh my god. What did you do? I can explain. Who is he? He was a priest from the church where I posed as a nun after I faked my death. He became enraged and threatened to tell the world what I did. I lost control, sis. I wasn't thinking. So you killed him? I can't lose my life again, sis. He was gonna take everything away from me. What the hell am I gonna do now? <laughs> he, he's dead? Sis. No! What the hell am I going to do? What we're not going to do is lose our heads. I'll fix this. How? Go take a walk for a few hours. When you return, he will be gone. Sis, take a walk for a few hours. When you return, he will be gone. I, I can't let you. Go, you did this for me once. I need to make this even. Alexi? Do you have Sienna's paternity results? Yes. Who's the father? Oh my god. Did you need me to ensure the desired results?
Riker, what are you doing here? I needed a drink after Valentino's funeral. <laughs> I bet. I take it you think it too? Think what? That I killed Valentino. Don't worry. I don't blame you. I know it looks suspicious that I hit him, then minutes later he was found dead. It certainly raised some eyebrows. It was bold of you to show up to his funeral today. I was trying to support Alexi, but she didn't even show up. Typical Alexi. She always takes fashionably late to the extreme. Anyway, why are you here? What's wrong? <sighs> it's nothing. I guess I thought I met someone, but he turned out to be like all the rest. I'm sorry to hear that. You know, I always thought Alexi never realized how good she had it with you. I'm not that innocent. <laughs> So I hear Sienna Black was a choice. Sorry, that was insensitive of me. I'm sure you had your reasons. Can I ask you something? Sure. Do you think I killed Valentino? I don't know what to think. I understand. But, I don't want to be alone. Sienna, you're still here? I thought you were heading back to New York this evening. Something came up. How was Valentino's funeral? Well, it probably wasn't a good idea to attend the funeral of the man people think I killed. I know you didn't kill Valentino, Riker. You couldn't kill anyone. You know, you're about the only person who still has faith in me. Then everybody else is a fool. Sienna. Were you telling the truth when you told me I wasn't the father of your baby? Or are you just trying to push me away? I... Freeze! What, what the hell? Riker Langley, you're under arrest for the murder of Valentino Viviano. What? N no! You have no proof. We found a gun used to shoot Valentino Viviano in a safe deposit box registered under your name. Th that doesn't mean anything. He was set up. The gun was registered to you, Mr. Langley. W what? Uh, I... Sienna, I can explain. I didn't do this. <laughs> 